What would happen if you put 1,000 flies against a Venus flytrap? Would it overwhelm the plant, or would the plant eat them all? Let's find out. This is 50 Venus flytraps. And in this video, I'm gonna put 1,000 flies in the same container as them. Will the sheer number of flies trick the traps, causing? I think Jack's got some problems. I'm ready. <laughs> This is 50 Venus flytrap plants. And in this video, I'm going to put 1,000 flies in the same container as them. Will the sheer oh, number of flies yes. trick the traps, <laughs> causing them to close? Or are the flies just simply cooked? Yeah, I don't know, They're cooked. but that's why I bought this. So this is 1,000 fly lungs. Oh, 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 I don't I like that. Look at that. Over the next oh, why are they looking like that? Food, they should all turn You're nasty, Terra Green. So You're nasty. Test. <laughs> so while we wait for these guys to turn into flies, obviously Burn I have it. all of these Venus fly traps. But I also have tons Whoa. of other carnivorous plants that you may have never even seen before. Ooh. Meaning I'm gonna be able to do tons Ooh. of different tests in okay. this video. It's gonna be super cool. Okay, bro, this is kind of crazy. Like, imagine if he was doing this with like other types of creatures. Kind of crazy when you think about it, right? Like imagine he did this with like a thousand cats. Bro would get canceled. He would, yeah, but no one really cares that much about bugs. He picked the best insect to do it on. Everybody hates flies. I don't know a single person that likes flies. Terra Green, if you're watching this, Next, can you please do mosquitoes? Can you burn a million mosquitoes with a flamethrower for science? Do a video that is, I bought every single mosquito in the whole world and burned every single one. Write that down. Write that down. Super cool. And for test number one, I want to show you guys the smallest of Venus fly traps. Now, you know it may Aww. sound stupid, but I promise you, so how they work and catch insects is actually really so interesting. Of course, it's a cricket. Work. And yeah, it's not a joke it's how so small dumb. these things are, because when compared to normal Venus fly traps, the jaws are about 10 times smaller. In fact, they're kind of cute, to be Aww, honest. Little chicken nuggies. But since these are minuscule, the Don't normal fooled, prey boys. in my videos is not going to cut it. Yeah, sorry, Cricket. You get to live another day. <laughs> sorry, That's why Cricket. instead, I got literally the smallest thing available. These are flightless fruit flies, which if you've seen my channel before, so we just call you know them fruit. they're pretty much the most useless animal. They're the most seriously, beta bro, animal, animal ever. How are you a fly that doesn't have the ability to fly? That doesn't make any sense. But anyways, I put the smallest Venus fly traps in the testing enclosure. Then I put one of these flies inside Aww. to see if he'd get so caught. Tiny. Start the timer. Now this fly didn't waste any time because it immediately walked straight up to one of the Some Venus insects fly are so dumb. pots and then started to walk all over the tops of the jaws. Absolutely risking his life. You may already know this, but normal <gasps> Venus fly traps will work by having these super tickle, tiny tickle. trigger hairs inside of them that when a bug or something touches them, it snaps shut. This kind of reminds me of like, do you know sometimes when your dad is taking a nap and like their mouth is open, they're like, <sighs> I feel like their mouth is kind of like a Venus flytrap for like lemon juice, or you could put like whatever you want in there sometimes as like a prank, guys. It's a prank. That was a great comparison, Jack. That's actually <laughs> like one to one. That was pretty Thanks, good. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I do this for a living. These traps are obviously the smallest in the world. Because of that, they have extremely small trigger hairs. And I'm talking so small Same. that if I zoom in like 100x on this footage, they're so thin, my camera Alex can't hairline. Pick them up. And I guess the trigger hairs Same. were quite literally so thin <laughs> that every time this flightless fruit fly walked inside the jaw of a what? trap the jaw didn't close at no all, and the fly was able to just walk out i mean it kind of makes sense these flightless fruit flies weigh about 0. 0.0003 grams so yeah i guess the traps quite literally can't even be triggered Wait, but that's so confusing since like that seems like the perfect size bug for this type of venus fly trap right it's so tiny so like it would need to bite something about that big in order to get a good meal yeah it seems like it's a really picky eater yeah like They're i probably don't think extinct anything bigger could really fit in there right he's saying that you need something bigger to trigger the trigger hairs i could fit an entire burrito in my mouth i know but you're not a venus fly trap you are a 27 year old burrito fly trap crap that's a good point no that's a fair point actually i didn't consider that if alec was a venus fly trap this would the, the flightless fruit fly would be like a carrot that's that they're trying to shove down his mouth he's like oh, it's too go on no so maybe he just doesn't like this food. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, <laughs> cheeseburger. All of his trigger hairs would get triggered. By three All right. grams. So yeah, I guess the traps quite literally can't even be triggered by how light their weight is. Yeah, clearly the fruit flies aren't gonna work. So instead, L I got the world smallest cricket instead to test. Uh, let's see if this poor guys and lowercase oh, cricket. Tell you things were a lot more. I got some long antennas. Because once again, the cricket walked straight up to one of the trap pots and started. Please. Climbing Kill me. Over the top <laughs> once again. That thing's this big time, though. Quite literally within 30 seconds, the cricket happened to yeah, that's big. 
up to the lip of one of the Venus flytraps. Oh, what's your you deal? Also already know this, but these plants produce a special kind of nectar around the lips of their jaws to lure insects in. Like that would work. Crickets. And you can, Alec, you do the same thing, right, with women? What? <laughs> nah, press play right now, Alec. Don't respond. As your lawyer, say you plead the fifth. We'll press play. I plead the fifth amendment. <laughs> See, it was working pretty well because this cricket was just absolutely slurping this nectar up. But he was getting a bit too distracted because he then stepped into the Alex trap. Alex stepping on the micro trigger. Come hairs, on, that's too easy. It's now or never, bud. It's now or never. Yeah, yeah. No! Fast, and he was barely able okay, to get out. Okay, are you kidding me? Thing. That was a close call, wow. but you can see how quickly that can all happen. And yeah, don't worry, guys, because it was trap. only a few minutes later when the cricket did the same exact thing. He walked up to another jaw, <laughs> walked straight into it, and uh, yeah, this time the trap closed on him while he was starting oh. to walk out, oh. leaving half of his body now sticking out of the trap. He could still get out. Even though these are the smallest Venus flytraps in the world, they trap insects nearly just as well as the fully grown ones. It's pretty interesting. Cool. And yeah, while I wait for those 1,000 flies, oh my God. Uh, so we can do the final test. In the meantime, I want to show you some other insane carnivorous plants that you may have never seen before, with the second one being sundews. Yep, everyone knows oh, what so Venus cool. flytraps are, but not everyone knows what a sundew is, but they're actually- Have you guys ever Ever heard of a sundew? No, no. Looks really cool though. I feel like I ate those. No, I ate honeydew. Yeah, honeydew, honeydew. flowers. Honeydew, same, honeydew yeah. is good. Sunny D is also good. It looks like it's like it's probably gonna bait you with the little sugar, sugared uh, balls of wetness, and then once you get in there, it's just gonna wrap you up like a coil. It's probably all sticky, sticky, gooey, gooey yeah, stuff. Yeah, and sticky then when eggs, you touch it, you get stuck there, and then it wraps you up, and then it sucks oh, you, you dry. Glued. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. This one's pretty cool. Yeah. Let me show you. What I'm gonna guess it's gonna be more effective. Like fly traps. Sundews so. are also a carnivorous plant, except instead of having jaws, it has these long stems with these little red hairs on the Terror top green of so them. Shout out Alex. Each of these little red hairs is a special kind of sticky glue it oh. produces that will make it so when a fly or any it. other insect touches it, it gets permanently stuck because of how sticky it is. Can't move. When an insect gets stuck on here, the trap does something insane to be able to consume the insect, which I'll show you very soon when it obviously traps. I need one insect. of these for my so, room. Yeah, I got multiple of these sundew yeah, you should plants, get one. and I even got this slightly different kind of sundew called an octopus plant. That will be cool Ooh, to see if this can catch it looks any like insects a flower. as well. So let's get these in the testing chamber. And for this, I think I'll be using a cricket once again. Uh -oh. They're literally perfect. They can just climb up the side of the stems and yeah, just get stuck. This should be fun to watch. Let's put this dude. <laughs> he loves killing so crickets. Yeah, once again, I just started with one of these guys, but if this guy gets caught fast, I'll be adding way more inside of here. Anyway, so this cricket <laughs> for the first minute kind of just wandered around the walls of the enclosure, but it wasn't long until he started heading towards the sundews. Now you well, see jumped the right on it. glue that this plant produces is actually a type of nectar, which smells and tastes great to the insects. Ugh. So yeah, just like how Venus flytraps lure insects in with their nectar, these traps do the same thing. Okay. So this cricket then decided to start climbing up the His stem. antennas the are so is, long. Though, that he ended up stopping right are before the sticky part. And that's actually because of his antenna. You see, crickets have these pretty long antennas that help them navigate and yeah, what the heck? before running into it. And this guy's antenna actually <laughs> ended up getting stuck in the sticky nectar part. But using its mouth, it was able to pull the antenna back and then start Whoa. to lick all the nectar off. It's of wow. He's this outplaying it. World's longest like spoon. He did that for 30 minutes. licking his antenna, then putting it back into That's the, the equivalent of like when you get a Cinnabon and then instead of eating the Cinnabon, you just dip your little finky in there and then you lick it and then you dick it. You, <laughs> then you dip it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the heck? What do you do with this? What the heck does Jack do with a Cinnabon? Lick it. <laughs> Wait, crickets are actually like geniuses though that's super super smart because he knows like if he walks over there he's gonna get trapped and die so instead he's just like lassoing it i can't believe you just called a cricket smart have you not, never seen a terragreen video with these crickets no I'm the like, I, insect alive yeah but well riddle me this then huh explain that to me how he's how he's outplaying yeah, yeah, a trap yeah yeah sherlock yeah i don't think he's actually like thinking about it like that i think he's just probably he gets stuck so he pulls it out then he's like oh nectar <laughs> All right, let's go to it. Oh, it got stuck again. Let me pull it out. Oh, nectar. And he just keeps doing it like that. I do the same thing in the cookie jar, right? So I eat a cookie. I close the cookie jar. I'm like, wait a second. How many cookies are left? Oh, let me have another one. And then I close it. And then I do that till it's empty. Yeah, like you're just a hater of crickets. Then, uh, licking it back up. He was kind of outsmarting this carnivorous plant and just getting its nectar for free. So I'm not going <laughs> to lie. I just tried to push him towards no. it. No! Like, <laughs> Die, cricket. He really wasn't going to do it on his own. And uh, yeah, he just kind of ended up falling off. Yo, what the heck? I was just trying to record that cricket. And I just realized there's a jumping spider. Whoa! Here. You what see the? It's on the little octopus plant. Is it stuck? Yeah, this jumping spider just happened to wander into this enclosure by accident. 
accident. I guess he <laughs> what? Was okay, wait, what? What? Does he just have jumping spiders like in his house? Does Bro live in Australia? I thought he lived in like Idaho. I don't know. That's crazy. He might have just pushed him in. I don't know. It's evergreen. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Next scene's like, I don't know how, but somehow this lion got into my room and I just started riding him around. He's just living somewhere in my house. But since he was here, I figured I'd just watch him to see if he would get caught by the traps. And pretty quickly, he started to climb the stems of the trap. Oh, he's and cooked. Got up to the he doesn't have his antenna. Yeah, he was kind of too smart for this trap too and turned around the second he realized <laughs> he it was dead. Nah. Never mind. Watch this guy. He's <laughs> around the plants. However, he he's never really ended on up getting trapped. And he ended up just climbing out of the enclosure. He said, I ain't dealing with this. This cricket, I've been trying to record him getting eaten for like two hours now. And every time, right before going on the sticky part, he just stops and cleans his antenna. And yeah, he just turns around and never actually goes on the sticky part. He's too smart for this. So yeah, let me take this guy out. Crunch. I actually just got out the flightless fruit flies again. Because apparently, actually Sundu's favorite insect. And yeah, I just dumped a few on the sand, and it wasn't long until some of them started to climb all over the stems and eventually started getting stuck there all we go. over the different sticky traps. I even went and just dumped a crazy <laughs> amount of these flies. <laughs> Terragrid is like an all-you-can-eat buffet. I was just about to say four of these different uh, plants. It's a fruit fly awesome. Armageddon meteor shower. I all right. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> I'll be here all day. Someone's definitely the clipping that. Plants to show you guys exactly how cool <laughs> some of these really are. Because obviously, now you can see the sticky parts of the plants are just completely covered in flightless fruit flies. Now, if you're wondering how this plant actually eats the flies, well, this footage shows how. As you can see, it uses each of its red hairs to basically curl around the prey. Well, I can do that, too. Curl around it, the stem itself also starts to Ooh. curl around the prey. This will basically ensure the fly has a 0% chance uh, of escaping, while the uh, plant really is basically an acid to consume it. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. So yeah, it's pretty cool to see these things work. That's All a roly these flies poly. are just going to turn into food for these plants very soon. All right, there's still one more major carnivorous plant type plants. that I haven't shown yet. They're this one's my favorite. Pitcher plants. Yep, this plant Pitcher can also perfect. eat insects. And actually, how it does I didn't realize how small the they were. Brutal out of all of them. Let me show you. Yep, like I said, these are called pitcher plants. And similar to the last plant, they have pretty long stems that go up. But the difference is uh, this time at the top, uh, there's this little trapdoor leaf thing that if you look is actually covering a hole that leads directly Exposed. down to a pit of acid at the bottom of the stem. Yep, these traps have this little hole here that's lined with a super slippery nectar on the inside. So whenever an insect walks inside, uh, they'll slip into the acid at the bottom. That's what Alec has under his hat. It's it's crazy to think about that. You know, like humans became the top predator because we were able to do stuff like set traps and build technologies, but it's been around for si since before us. Us. Like traps are not a man-made invention. Yeah, we, I mean, we probably copied a lot of the things that plants do and just made it in our own way. And we still do that today. Like even with like vehicles and a lot of machinery is based off of nature. I was able to lure Adam actually into a closet one time just by leaving like a little trail of Lucky Charms. Yeah, it works every time. It does work every time. I got myself a few times like that too. If you actually look inside, of, <laughs> if you actually look inside of this pitcher plant, since it's kind of small and shallow, you can like actually me. see the pool of acid. Oh, we got one already. And it actually looks like there's a couple little flies and stuff in there, which it looks like it's actually already dissolving. So yeah, it'd be cool to see some crickets or something following these. Let's he loves killing crickets. It's always crickets, dude. Time, some, like like some crickets or something. It would be so sick success. to see the crickets <laughs> die. <laughs> After placing the cricket on this first pitcher plant, it started to climb along the sides of the red pitcher. As you can see, the inside Ew. of the plant is lined with these downward pointed Ew. Oh, this gross. is to make it even more slippery like and line. hard to escape. And yeah, it's kind of funny to see how fast this all happens happens, but the next time the cricket went to the opening of this plant, it straight up just slipped in right See away. Ya. Nah, this dude had no <laughs> plant has He wanted to go in there. Millions of years to just pool. be able to eat them this fast. Um, Ew. Yeah. And as you can see on this that footage that I recorded on my phone, he was now just sitting at the bottom oh, of this burning acid. Over the next few days, oh. it will dissolve him and turn him into nutrients for this plant Dang. to grow even I wonder stronger if it hurts. and larger. That's a sad way to and go yeah, out. That's really all there is to these pitcher plants. They're not really the most interesting thing. I have a dumb question, guys. Yeah, we know. I'm six foot. So like... Next question. I always thought that plants use photosynthesis. Photosynthesis? Do what the heck is protosynthesis? Photosynthesis. Do these, do these not do that at all? Or like, is this their only source of energy? I believe that they do need the bugs to survive. So I don't think that they do normal photosynthesis. Um, okay. That's all. Yeah.
Next question. I actually have some great news, guys, because if you look in this container, you can see many of my flies are starting to hatch. And that means oh. we can finally start doing some massive scale Venus flytrap tests and eventually test as many flies as <laughs> I can against all of my Venus flytraps. Imagine just like you're born into the world and your only purpose is a Terra Green video as a sacrifice. That's so sad. <laughs> He's putting them right into war. Like they're all flying around. Ah! Like stuff's chopping down. That is like World War 17. They literally were just born. Oh man. That'd be an epic story though. Let's start very simple though with five Venus fly traps versus a single fly. And let's see if this fly can get trapped in under a <clears throat> minute. Now, I know I'm going to say no. What do you guys think? Nah. I don't care about one fly. This is boring. Well, don't worry because this oh, literally your profile. only lasted like 20 seconds because immediately this fly started to crawl up the side of a pot. That's a big and fly. Of course, he made his way immediately yeah, it's a huge fly. What the heck is that? Triggered oh, one of the hairs he's cooked. And Ed closed Yo, he's cooked. He's cooked. Yeah, that happened so fast. The one thing Venus fly traps he's not escaping. Best at catching. I mean, they're called Venus fly traps for a reason. Anyways, I got the tank where the final test Whoa. will be taking place right here, obviously. And oh, on top, there is a box. <laughs> oh. There is something <laughs> really cool in this box. It's these two little drawstring bags. As you can see, they say TerraPals on them. And that's because... Because Terror Pals is what I'm calling my brand new line of plushies. Guys, give me five seconds. I got to go buy this. Limited edition drop. Oh, he's good. All right, guys. Go to Terra Green store if you want to buy his new plushie. We love Terra Green. Thanks for, uh, thanks for making cool videos. Just bought Venom, brah. Adam, do you want an axolotl? Alec, do you want a t-shirt? Double XL? Make it a trip. Uh, I think he's, yeah, I was about to say trip. I didn't want to be mean, though. He's been eating a lot of fruit flies. Fly trap test. And I didn't waste any time. I just got up the flies that I've been hatching. And I put them straight into this enclosure so we could get this final test started. Quickly, I removed the lid and started the timer. Let the test begin. Now, immediately, a couple of the flies started to fly out of the container. And others started to walk Dang, out. Dang, they thought the they size. were free. Now, there was something weird, though. Because I don't know why. I just had a vision of Terra Green. He leaves the top open. And he has a fly swatter for any flies that try to fly away. <laughs> no! Bad fly! No! You get back in there! You get back! 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 That, that would be a cool video. A thousand flies versus one fly swatter. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Terra Green in a room. <laughs> He's just killing all thousand. That's Terra Green's final form. I'd love to watch that video. That'll be on Terra Red though, because while the container had a decent amount of movement in it, only like 10 of the flies were actually leaving the container over the four hour time lapse here. Wow. And basically all the flies were staying in there. So I decided to just take the paper towel out that they were all on and tried to just you shake off man. as many as I could <laughs> onto the Venus fly trap. And obviously this meant that a few of the flies were now scattered all over the traps uh -oh. and were actually starting to get trapped. But most of them were just being super inactive, uh, barely moving and not flying. I guess because they were just newly hatched flies and it takes a while for them to become See you. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, guys. This is kind of a fail. Basically, none of the flies are flying around and I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this. But don't worry because my YouTube friend Flytrap Films <laughs> recorded a test with an insane amount of flies that's super similar to this. And he wanted me to show you it. And it, you can see he has Let a Venus Flytrap plant out and also a bunch of rotten meat in order to attract the flies. Yeah, Ew. it worked really well because instantly tons of flies started to gather around this plant. And you guessed it. Oh, two for one. Trapped. Three. I mean, Whoa. Flies, three for three special at Wendy's. It's like that Mario Party game where you have to trap all the so Goombas. Oh, yeah. I'm getting so hungry. Would gather on some of the now. Before they close. Now. Oh, my God. Flies it's like hungry. Oh, oh, bonus. 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 Wow. Flytrap Films himself has said that this is the most flies he's ever seen. <laughs> That's a world record. Once. Also, some bonus footage for you guys. Hey, you remember those pitcher plants from earlier? Oh, yeah. Flytrap Films also did Those are way bigger. Those are massive pitcher pitcher plant to show you guys how effective these things Whoa. are at catching flying insects <laughs> and this plant literally just looks Infinite like food a hack. vacuum cleaner sucking up all the holy flies. cow yeah wow it is because That's every a time dyson. a flying insect flaps its wings oh, above the opening in this plant it creates a weird kind of vacuum effect with the wind causing the bug to actually get oh pulled my god down into it yep, after not too much time this thing just caught <laughs> oh, so oh my god i don't like that i'm like uncomfy oh my god overflow that is probably it's like world war z performance from a carnivorous plant that I have ever seen. Thank you, Flytrap Films, for letting me show you Holy this footage. Crap. That was insanely cool, guys. If you want to see more, smash like and click right here.